in standard operating conditions, you will want to clean your handy gripper on a weekly basis. If it's working in a very dirty environment, you'll want to do it daily. So first of all, simply take a four millimeters hex key and take it off the coupling. Then you'll want to simply clean it with a dry towel. No need to use any alcohol or any products, just a clean, dry towel. And as you're cleaning it, you want to inspect the fingertips for wear and maybe make sure that there's not extra loose in the rack and pinion mechanism. You also want to check the pins underneath or the contacts, make sure that they're clean and do the same thing for on the coupling side. Make sure that those 10 pins are clean and that the spring underneath works properly. What I do is I slightly press on them and make sure that they come back to their normal position easily. If you notice that the fingertips are worn out, simply remove those M3 screws and replace them. After two million cycles, it is recommended to inspect, clean, and lubricate the rack and pinion mechanism. To do so, I start by closing the fingers while the gripper is still on the robot. This allows you to get access to those two screws here that you will need to remove. Now, before removing the gripper, I always turn off the robot arm. So the first thing I want to do is to remove those six screws. This will give me access to the rack and pinion mechanism. I inspect and clean and same thing on the other end okay so I can see them from here but I actually can remove the racks So again, inspect and clean. I could have removed the fingers to do that. It gives you a bit of a better access. It's up to you. Now mine are pretty clean. They're in the training environment, as you see. Yours will probably be more, uh, they'll probably be dirtier than that. Now that they're nice and clean, I want to relubricate them. So I have this little bit of grease here, and I like to wear a glove and apply it with my fingers. You could use a brush, that would work too. So you just want to make sure that there's at least a bit of it. No need to put too much. And we want to do the same thing on the racks. And maybe a bit around on the sliders part.
right, now it's ready to be reassembled again. So now you can assemble the racks back into their sliders, into their guide. And one thing you want to keep in mind is that when you put it back on the pinion, it's going to lock, right, in the gears. So you want to make sure that they are centered around the pinion. So what I do is I push them against one another and I want to make sure that I get the same distance here and on the other side there. So now I know that it's centered and I can put it back on the pinion here. Now I can put those six screws back and you want to make sure to put low strength thread locker before putting those screws back. So when this is all said and done, I'll put it back on the robot open and close it a few times, and then clean any extra grease that could have come out on the ends.